hello everyone today i'm going to talk about something else about one of the clinical pearls like if patient goes to the hospital so when you when there is a patient gets admitted to the hospital uh, and you are the pharmacist responsible for taking care of his medications and and, uh, and making sure that he's on the right medications there is a checklist and this could be applicable it doesn't only to pharmacists also can, can be applicable to nurses to doctors and everyone who's admitting the patients so patient when we get admitted to the hospital there are three things we need to think about think about the dhp which is like the dihydropyridine for example dhp so like a d stands for disease specific medications h is hospital specific medications and p talks about the patient specific medications so when you assess a patient when admitting the patient you need to think about the disease specific meds like the medications the patient should be on because he's in the hospital why he's admitted for if the patient got admitted for an infection is the patient on antibacterial or antibiotic number two the hospital specific medications like the medication the patient should be on just because he's staying or she's staying in the hospital for example uh, deep vein thrombosis prophylaxis dvt prophylaxis uh, bowel regimens for example as well these are because the patient just staying in the hospital the third type of medication are the patient specific meds which are the home medications which are which those medication need to be checked in a daily basis, not only in one in the first day of admission, because we might not start, for example, antihypertensive medications because the patient blood pressure is low. So maybe later on, once the patient is stabilized, he starts the whole medication antihypertensive meds. So remember that DHP, disease-specific meds, hospital-specific meds, and patient-specific meds.